Right, doing a video today in our new Defender, and we're going to show you LKA, Lane Keep Assist. Now, there are two types. There's Emergency Lane Keep Assist, E-K-L-A, and Lane Keep Assist. Oh, emergency Lane Keep Assist is when it thinks you're about to crash into a barrier at the side, and it will move the steering um, to correct what it thinks is an imminent collision and that comes under the category of collision avoidance and you can the only thing you can do with that is turn it on or off in the software and we'll show you at the end of the video how to do that right the other thing right so getting back to lane keep assist is governed here by a function on the steering wheel here now to use lane keep assist you need to be doing more than 40 miles an hour it won't work and also there are some other conditions you don't need to be using your brakes. Right, so we're gonna give you a little demonstration to show you how to use this, what the screen warnings are, and what it actually does. And what it will actually do is it will actually turn the steering wheel, the lane keep assist, to try and correct you or at least warn you. Now it's not so fierce that it throws you off, it's more to wake you up. So this is more what they call a driver assistance is that what they call it George yeah yes so this is part of the driver assistance package so I'm gonna wait I'm gonna drive up here we're gonna get to a nice open bit of road and then I'm gonna show you in a very careful controlled manner how we use lane keep assist right so we're on a nice bit of dual carriageway um, and so I'm gonna turn on the lane keep assist now if you look in the bottom corner of my display you can see it can see two little green lines and those green lines tell us that the lane keep assist can see both a left and right hand lane. Now, there's one little cool secret feature if you're using lane keep assist, you can get a much better display. Rather than having it there, if you want to see what it can see and understand its operation a bit more, if you press the menu button here and you go to the display, which is this one here, and press OK again, you can go to layout, which is down here, press OK, and then we can go to the driver assistance screen. Okay, so if we select the driver assistance screen here, and then press long, long press on the left hand button here to clear that, and then you see we get a full screen mode with the lane keep assist. Now, I can see there's no one coming, I can see it's a clear road. Now if I just let the car very carefully wander over to the left you'll see that it will start to you see that it makes that red so it says you've gone too close now not only does it do a warning if you get onto the line it will and I will, I will make sure I'm holding the steering wheel but I will let you see it actually twitches the steering wheel when I get close do you see that yeah so I'll make sure I have my hand so don't try this this is not a trick or a toy but I wanted to demonstrate to people what it does so they understand now there is another feature that cancels it so there's nothing on the road but if I use my indicator you'll notice this green line goes grey on that side so let me just so turn that off again so without an indicator I think there's a delay before it operates again it goes green if I indicate and what that means is it's not monitoring so it's gonna let me change lane if you look George on the mo on the uh, dual carriageway I've changed lane and likewise if I want to change back, it gives you a, a delay, but if I want to change back, if I indicate left, it will cancel that one so I can freely change with no force on the steering wheel. So what it's trying to do, it's trying to keep you in, in lane. So, right. So one thing that caught me out the other day was when I was coming up to a turning to turn off left, I didn't indicate and it gave me a little nudge. So you can see I'm approaching an exit now, and I just want to demonstrate that if I don't indicate that it will apply a force, but it's it's not one I can't overpower. So as I, as I turn and go in, it, it goes, but you can, you can still turn it quite easily and it actually cancels it. So it senses that you've done it and put some resistance there. George just said to me, it's like you're entering a force field or a magnetic. It's not like you can't move a magnet over a bit of metal, it's just, it, it sticks a little bit, there's a little resistance. Now there's one other little feature I want to show you, so let me just turn around. So if you deviate slightly off and the steering doesn't feel you grip the steering wheel or apply reactive force, it will give you a warning that says 
please put your hands back on the steering wheel. So if I just touch it gently at the back and let it deviate, you'll see the screen there. Okay, maybe if I do it again. There you go, so it's, so it's warning you it's not a self-driving system and you need to keep your hands on the steering wheel. Now again, I did have my hands on the back of the steering wheel. I'm trying to do this as safely as controlled as possible. Right, so one other feature is, um, that I think could could be improved, or I don't know, it's a point for debate, is I've set the sat-nav now, and the sat-nav is gonna send me off at this next junction, okay? You can see it's saying turn left, and you can see the junction here. Now, obviously I should indicate, but if it knows I'm turning, if you look at the screen, because I'm not indicating, it's gonna fight the steering wheel. I mean, you, oh, you can't see on the screen, but it fought the steering wheel. So maybe they could link it to the sat-nav, so if it knows it's telling you to go off, it could cancel the left-hand turning. Right, couple more things to say. So all of this is controlled by a mirror that is located behind your rear view mirror there. And that controls it, and, and that's, so if it's raining or there is something obscuring the camera, your lane keep assist might not work. Right, at the beginning of the video, I would show you, I promised I would show you where the settings are to toggle the emergency lane keep assist function, which is collision voidance, not driving assistance. So George, can you do the honors and show on the touch screen where that is, please? So if you go on settings, select settings, and then if you go on all, and then if you go into vehicle, and then if you go into driver assistance. Well done, George. Driver assistance and then collision avoidance. And you'll notice here, it's the emergency lane keeping. So that's on, that's what it looks like when it's on, that's what it looks like when it's off. I recommend keeping that set like that. There we go. I hope that helps you understand one of the features. Now, one point to note is that this car is a S model spec so they have the s then it goes up to the se the hse the first edition but even on the s spec this function is standard which is quite tricky really